What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have Vita Shell 1.78 update. Now this Vita Shell is the most recent one. There was one previously released by the Flow, but it had some bugs. So he finally managed to fix them. Thank you the Flow. So we can go ahead and go to the developer's GitHub. You guys will see Vita Shell version 1.78. So we'll go ahead and download the VPK. Now you can also read what the change log was. Also for previous versions, for the change log 1.77, it was released almost around the same time. So it's pretty cool. Able to extract 7Z and all of the rest. And also you can read all the change logs, which is pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. So we'll go ahead and get that VPK. Once we have it ready, we can connect our PlayStation Vita via USB. Thank you the Flow for this amazing feature. And then we'll just go ahead and transfer it to the root of the PlayStation Vita's memory card. You guys can see I had an old one. That's all we need to do here. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now this is the PlayStation Vita on 3.60. Also, you can update Vita Shell via Wi-Fi network. You can either install the VPK or update it as well. So either or will work fine. So I just decided to update it via the network. That's a pretty nice feature it has. So now I'm going to go to my web browser and then I'm going to search for a 7Z file type. So I'm going to type in PSP ISO. Sorry, I forgot to include the space, the so PSP ISO. And then I'm going to go to coolrom.com. All right, so I'm going to search for a PSP game. So hopefully we can go ahead and download it. As you guys can see, there's various games in there, whole list of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this file. Now, if you don't have the download enabler, it's a plugin as well created by the flow. Get it. I have it on one of my previous videos. Also, I will go ahead and leave it in the description. Just to double check here, bubble bubble evolution dot seven Z. Let's see if we can open it through beta shell. You guys can see it's downloading the game. Now I'm going to launch beta shell. Okay, so you guys can see on my plugins folder, I have download enabler.supRx. Now on my URO, you get you guys know that I keep my config text in URO. I have the plugin path under main, which is UXO plugins download enabler supRx so that I can download through the web browser. You guys probably already know this. And then I have my download folder, which I have the ISO. You guys can see it's almost 600 megabytes. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste it inside PSP EMU. And then I'm going to go to ISO and then triangle and paste. Just let it be for a moment. Okay, so now let's try to see if this works. Also, if you don't have the download folder, you can go ahead and create it and go back to the download folder and delete that 7Z. Or if you want to back it up to your PC, that's cool too. So it depends on what you want to do. Okay, so we're ready to test it out with Adrenaline, also by the Flow. I mean, he's done amazing things. Thank you, the Flow. So we launched the game. It's there, pretty cool. There we have it, it's launching, which is pretty cool. So now, 
we have our new game we extracted it we transferred to ISO thank you the flow this is amazing so guys if this helped remember to hit like subscribe share it with your friends comment as always gamer rebirth out